Even as the Guggenheim turns 50, it's still turning heads. Architect Frank Lloyd Wright's famous Spiral Museum attracts about a million visitors a year. But in 1956, when it began to take shape on New York City's Upper East Side, it attracted a lot of criticism. New York is usually a follower, not a leader in stuff like this. And suddenly, New York has the most radical building in the world. Back then, the New York Times called it a war between architecture and painting, in which both came out badly maimed. Still, Frank Lloyd Wright, who died six months before the museum opened, dismissed critics of his only creation in New York City. Somebody said the museum out here on Fifth Avenue looked like a washing machine. Well, I've heard, heard a lot of that type of reaction, and I've always discounted it. And history, it seems, is on his side. Paul Goldberger is the architecture critic for The New Yorker. It's one of the greatest museum buildings of all time. So, wow, that's yeah. not a small no, it's a, statement. It's not a small statement. It's a very serious statement. Frank Lloyd Wright's design takes museum goers along a continuous curving ramp. The space and the art itself unfold in front of you. In fact, the original museum was called the Museum of Curator Carol Vale says that Hillary presents Bay an advantage and a challenge. Set. You have to take the space vertically and horizontally. I mean, you have to be able to, to try and visualize the art from all kinds of angles and perspectives. And through its quirks. We have to come up with special devices and uh, contraptions to hang the paintings so that they can, in fact, hang straight. Today, it's Kandinsky on the walls. His work is often considered an ideal match for a museum designed to hold abstract and contemporary art. Though a quick visit reveals that the art can almost seem like an afterthought. How much time do visitors spend just looking at the museum versus the art? And is that frustrating as a curator? <laughs> Well, it's frustrating and it isn't. Of course, we're delighted if people come and look at the building. At the same time, you do want them to be able to look at the art. An artistic conflict that Wright purposely intended. Art and architecture can enter into a dialogue with each other. They can actually kind of get in the ring and joust a little bit with each other. In fact, sometimes it can create something more exciting. Exciting indeed, even 50 years on. Seth Doan, CBS News, New York.